Okay, I've been I've been starting live a video that I didn't plan on doing at all today, and so I'm a little bit Twitter painted with wonky hair and everything. Already one person in here, though. That's good. So I got my Avon order in today, and um, we don't really have anything going on, and so I thought that I would unbox it because I have time and. You know, it's always fun to do stuff like that. And my coat's uneven and I'm trying to fix it, but my hair. Anyways, like I said, I wasn't um, planning on doing a, um, hey, Jana. Um, I, I wasn't planning on doing um, uh, uh, this video at all today. And so <laughs> I'm not made up like I usually would be. Uh, I don't have like all my Avon face on, but I do have a Avon, Avon um this is that gelato lip tint in the raspberry limoncello. I put that on today. We, um, see today, uh, Keith's dad got home from the hospital yesterday and, um, thanks, thanks so much. Um, and then today they were delivering some medical equipment. They delivered a hospital bed to us and also a lift thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a hoist that goes underneath the person. It has like a sling that goes underneath them and then you, you crank it and it lifts them up so you can change the bedding underneath of them um, and like swing them into the tub, like into a shower seat and back out. Yes, a hoyer. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called. So we got one of those today. Um, and the delivery guy was just here putting that stuff together with Keith. And so now Keith is getting um, the bed made up and everything like that. And um, so um, I just, I have time now because he's home and everything and I can do this video. So if you hear noise in the background, he's doing a little laundry too. And um, he might come through if he needs to, but uh, UPS, um, Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a, like amazing thing. I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, this is really cool. <laughs> you know, like, and we're super, super blessed to be able to have those pieces of equipment to help us with him because we just want to do the best we can by him. And it helps so much when you have all that stuff at home, you know? So, but like I said, I didn't really plan on doing a video today. I wasn't intending to do one. So this is just my around the house face and um but it's funny because I actually do have Avon makeup on um because I tell you guys I do wear my Avon when I um have my days off so I have on I last night I was looking for um if you watched my campaign video last night I mentioned I was I had some more of those um those yeah I think we did get a sling with a hole with the holes and a regular one so we have like both we have like one that's solid and one that has Holes, I think I haven't taken out of the package yet, but I think that's what he said there is. But so last night I was looking for my um another one of those trial size of the um oil blending cream from the therapy. Remember, I said I was gonna start using one, and I finished the one I was using, and so I had I knew I had a couple more, so I was looking. Um, hey Sasha, I was looking for the um another one of those. And I came across my Magic's Wand foundation sticks um, that I used for like a hot minute when they first came out. And so I put them down into my drawer of my makeup organizer that where I keep all my like foundations and stuff like that and um, concealers. And uh, so I used those today. I used the coconut. Um, I think it's coconut is what it's called shade for my whole face and then I used the um let's see what one did I use um meringue for like the concealer under my eyes so and then um but I don't have on Avon um blush or anything I think I grabbed a Mac pal no, no it was a Dior backstage your backstage for blush and I had a little bit of bronzer in that palette and then I put some um urban decay liquid shadow on my eyelids um so I don't know if you can hear that when I get a notification it makes that little chiming noise so I apologize if you guys hear that but yeah and so then that but then I put on that raspberry gelato and I do have on eyeliner that's Avon it's the toasted glimmer stick um so 
so I didn't do much with myself. But but UPS came and I thought that I would do hey Nance. So I'm glad you could come in. I was just thinking about you the other day. What was I thinking about you? Something I can't remember now. It's escaped my mind. I was thinking something about you though. I don't remember. Maybe it'll come to me when I'm trying to think of something else. It'll pop into my head because that's how it always goes. But anyways, UPS came right after the delivery guy came. Um, thank you, Erica, uh, to drop off the hospital bed in the Hoyer. Thank you, Donna, the Hoyer. <laughs> and so I, I need to remember Oscar de la Hoya, Oscar de la Hoyer. And then <laughs> oh, I won't forget it. But um, so we dropped off my Avon order and I thought, well, it's a pretty bright sunny day. We got good light and I don't have anything to do. And I asked Keith, do you need me for anything? And he said, no. So I was like, oh, I'll do this um, unboxing. Um, it's not much. I don't have very much. And actually the thing on the top here isn't even, wasn't in my order. I got out this morning um, a... When I was at RepFest, if you guys went to RepFest, they had the Avon store, and I bought a couple of the journals that they had on there, and I haven't done anything with them. Well, today, I sat down this morning with my coffee, and I started my um, countdown to the Caribbean Odyssey, and I put what my, you know, I wrote down my goals for the trip for one, and my goal for the trip for two, and excuse me, how far, uh, where I'm at right now of my goals. So, so yeah, I, I was like, I might as well just start trying to motivate myself a little bit more and, uh, you know, see how that works. So I just laid that inside the box, but that's fine. Yeah. So if you're not an Avon rep, the, um, every year they give us a big trip. Well, we don't give it, they don't give it because we have to earn it. And um, the one for last year was Jamaica. And I was really close to that trip. I really was close. I was $3,000 shy of meeting my goal to win that trip uh, for two. Um, and I didn't win it. But I don't think we would have been able to take it anyways. Or I wouldn't have been able, like Keith wouldn't have been able to come because of our, you know, situation here with his folks and everything. So in a way, I'm kind of I'm okay with it that we didn't get it because I don't want to, I've never been any place tropical before and I don't want to go without the love of my life. I want him with me. But this year he talked to me and said, um, he said, I really want you to try for the cruise. Um, he goes, I'm okay with not going, but I want you to go. You deserve it. If you can get to it, you know, you should go. And so I said, okay. So I'm going to go for it, which is why I'm tracking my progress in my notebook. Thank you, Erica. Hey, Andrea. I, you know, I, I do feel good about it, but I felt good about the Jamaica cruise or the Jamaica trip too. Like I thought for sure I was going to get it and I was $3,000 short. So, and what's weird about this one is we only have through July, through the end of July to win, to earn it. And so um, my goal is... 19,776 in sales for the trip for one and uh, 24,276 of the trip for two. I definitely think the trip for one is doable for me. Um, it, it's, it's not impossible by any means. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful and optimistic at this point, but we'll my hair's driving me nuts because I didn't wash it this morning and I probably should have. And then, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing anything. So I just put it up in a walkie bun, but it's always funky. All right. So I'll stop talking about that stuff and uh, I'll show you what came in my order. Not a lot of stuff. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate that. Yes, it's because I am a creep and so are you. And I say that with love. <laughs> So yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys what I, what came. I'm gonna need a cough drop though. I can already tell. I'm gonna get one because my throat gets really dry. And then I'll start coughing, and nobody wants to hear that crap. So I have a whole bag that hasn't even been opened in my desk drawer here. So I'm gonna take one of those out before we get into this. So I didn't order like a ton of stuff for myself. I had some extra things in my cart that I actually took out because um, I didn't need them yet. Like there was, a, there's a dress coming in campaign seven, 
that I really want. It's like a sweatshirt dress and I really, really want it. But I'm like, seriously, even if I get it right now, I can't wear it. It's too cold. I could wear it with like leggings underneath, but I don't, it's not my favorite look. So for me, so I just took that out of my cart. I don't know if you guys have a Meyer store around you. I, I know Meyer is like a Michigan, Ohio, I think Pennsylvania, but these Meyer throat drops are really, really good. They work really good. Like a cough drop, they're berry flavored. And they're like a dollar for a big bag of them. But they work really, really well for me. I have never been on a cruise in my life. Never. So, oh, hey, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia earned, not one, earned the Jamaica. She worked her butt off at the end um, and had, she was like me, short a couple thousand dollars and she rocked it out. And, um, I give her much respect for that because it's a lot, you know, I, I was lazy and didn't, <laughs> didn't do it, but yeah, I've never been on a cruise before. I would like to eat the food. <laughs> that sounds really good to me, like all the food. So, so my invoice at my invoice here and, um, these on the top are the, Oh, wait, my cat. She's in the window. She's going to try to jump down. Come on, kitty. Come on. Come through. Okay. Go ahead. Go through. Go on. It's okay. It's okay. There you go, girly. She was, when the um, delivery guy came with the hospital bed and the Hoyer, she got freaked out and she went to her hiding spot, which is up in our window. There's like a shelf and she gets up in there and hides, but now she's better. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I just, I really like the idea of not having to do anything. Like, I, <laughs> that's my idea of a vacation. I'm so lazy. I just want to lay around. That's, like, I just want to lay around and, and just eat. <laughs> it's like terrible to say. I don't mean it like that. I don't mean like I just want to wallow and gain like a hundred pounds. I just like the idea of being like relaxed and breezy and, and wearing something flowy and fun and I don't know. Anyways, okay. So and the top of my um my uh, box here, these are smaller than I thought they would be. This is the root touch up from the face shop. This is not for me. Um my have I have one customer that I service locally. Um her name is Charlene. She is the sweetest woman. Um, she is a senior and she just lost her husband a year ago. And I, the, she found me through find a rep and I started delivering to her because her husband had Alzheimer's and she couldn't get out. So she loves her Avon and she orders from me like regular, like clockwork and everything. Hey, Misty. And, um, so anyways, unfortunately she lost her husband last year. Um, and she's still just, I thought maybe she would slow down on her Avon then since she was able to get out more and stuff like that. But nope, she's still all about her Avon. So she ordered two of the root touch-ups, um, one in dark brown and one in black. She told me that she currently uses one from Home Shopping Network, but she isn't satisfied with that. So she wanted to try this. And when she ordered it, it was in the campaign where they were $15 a piece. But in the last campaign, they were... $18, buy one, get one half off. So actually it saved her $3 to get it this way. So that's what I did. Mm. Yes, food, food. I love food and I love seafood too. That's another thing. So, okay, here I go. I, I said, I, this is supposed to be an unboxing and um, so this is me. This is for me. This is the mono pop eyeshadow in mood brown well i'll get everything out first and then we can look at it and then the rest of my stuff looks like it's in a bag here this is what they do it's weird to me how they bag up bag up some of this stuff and then they don't bag everything but yeah i've never been on the cruise never never i don't know but i i don't like being hot you know what I mean? So sometimes I'm not crazy about going to like the tropical places because of the heat. But at the same time, I like the idea of being in a tropical place. So, you know. Um, okay. And then also these are for my customer, Charlene. In one of the flyers, there was a, 
a deal where you could get a wash off waterproof mascara and a lipstick combo. Um, and I think it was $9.49 for the two. So she ordered two sets. And so she got the wash off waterproof mascara. Um, it com only comes in black anymore. And she got the two lipsticks, which of course I won't open to her stuff. But I'll just tell you what shades she picked. She picked um, Terry's Jubilee, which we that's one I've been in the A box quite often. It's a deeper, a deeper shade. And then the other one she chose was uh, Wineberry. So those are so that is what Charlene ordered. She got those. So I'll move that to the side here. I brought myself some white birch birch watches. Um, and then I have also for me the moisture cushion blush in the red. Finally, I'm very excited to have that. And I got two more of the flat velvet lipsticks. Um, one of them in Be My Pink, which is the brighter shade here. And this one is called Fluffy Pink, which looks to be more of a nudie pink. I'm already wishing it was bright, I, but I got that one on purpose because I know not everybody likes the bright, bright colors like I do. So I have to remember that to show things that are more neutral and wearable for people. So that's why I got that one. Um, our order is loose too some of the time, but but they bag up some of it too. It's strange. So, okay. Can you use, Susan wants to know, can you, I got to take my readers off to read that one. Can you use root touch up in a light brown with medium blonde hair? I personally have never used the root touch up. I don't know anything about it. There might be another rep because we've got a couple of reps in the, uh, their chat in the chat. They might be able to answer your question. Um, I would think you would probably be able to do the light brown with the medium blonde hair because roots are usually darker anyways until you get to the point where they're gray, you know what I mean, uh, or white, but they're typically darker anyhow. So I would think that would be okay, but I don't know. Um, I haven't seen like the color shades exactly, so I can't tell you for sure. You know, I wish I could be more help, but um but I'm not. <laughs> and then we have a um, bubble wrap. I got a lot of these, right? Bubble wrap. And then underneath that is my um, what's new whoops, and the brochures. So the what's new is the one that has the peony rose on it. And that's for campaign nine. And then the... Um, Rock Your Glimmer is going to be the um, the cover of the Campaign 7, for sure. And then um, I'm excited about this. Um, well, not this jacket, actually. <laughs> but the, um, the um, new fashions. There is, I'll show you that dress that was in my cart. Um, and then I took it out because a lace-up tunic dress. I'm still going to get it. I'll probably order it with my next order, but I took it out because I just like right now it's too cold and I'm not going to be able to wear it. And we just heard that we're getting, they say we're going to have Arctic temperatures at the beginning of March. So I'm still going to get it because I want to get it before it sells out. But, um, but I don't, uh, need to wear it right now. So I, I held off on getting it another campaign to save a little bit of money. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, I like that cover too. I think it's fun. Let's see. Avon has liquid eye glitters. Yes, Andrea, we have the glimmer shadows, which are the liquid shadows that have, some of them have glitter. Some of them are just metallic. Um, they don't all have glitter. And then the new ones are going to be in here. There's some new shades coming out in campaign seven. Uh, the new shades are, I think there's like a silver. Let me look here. Okay, so the new shades are going to be, put my glasses back on. I might as well just leave them on. I just know that sometimes um, it makes a glare. You know what I mean? Because I got a window behind the computer. So like you can see out back, you can see our little storage shed. <laughs> and you can see Ranger's toys hanging from a clothesline. Uh, you know, you can see everything. <laughs> okay, so the new, there's three new shades. Um. Pink Topaz, Diamond Dust, and Crystal Lilac. Um, and it's going to be these three are going to be the new shades coming out in Campaign 7. Um, 
they're getting rid of the smoky quartz, which is a big bummer for me because that was one of my favorites. But I, I mean, seriously, how how many of those are am I going to go through anyways, right? You know. Um, and then we're getting some new glimmer lips, glimmer kiss is what they're called, liquid lipstick. It has sparkles in it. There's four of those: ruby, sand opal, amethyst, and violet sapphire. And here's what they are going to look like. I didn't mean to just smack that really loud. I went like that. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm, I'll probably pick up the red one. Maybe the purple. I don't know. I'm not like huge. As much as I love glitter. And everybody knows I love glitter. Like a ton. I'm not crazy about glitter on my lips. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it doesn't create the best formula like it gets uh chunky and stuff like that so i don't know or you love the glimmer glimmer kiss i don't i just i don't know i'm i'm I mean i'm willing to try them and everything i just don't know i gotta put this over here out of my way i just don't know like how you know how it's gonna be what they're gonna how do they feel smooth? Do, are they patchy? Are they scratchy? Can you feel the glitters? Are they chunky? That's you know, that's the kind of thing. So okay, so let's open some of this stuff. Not Charlene stuff because that wouldn't be cool. But let's do the Mono Pop eyeshadow palette in the Mood Browns. So it comes in your your um black standard packaging, but I kind of like that. It's nice, you know. Um. Let me put the what's new somewhere. Uh, where did I put it? I'll put it right there for now. <laughs> I'll just lay it on the keyboard. I have my um big knife of death that I <laughs> that I keep because I can't, you guys. And I use scissors, but sometimes scissors don't cut it. So this is my steak knife of death. That's what me and Keith call it. And I keep it in my beauty area and I use it to open anything that I can't get. So do not be alarmed when I'm milking. And actually, if you guys remember. This is an Avon steak knife. Remember this? They come in like, we had sets of them. They came in like blue, green, pink, purple, and yellow. I ordered two sets. They were fantastic knives. And so, uh, so yeah. So I have a whole bunch of these. But I only have one in my beauty area. The rest of them are in the kitchen where they belong. <laughs> oh. So I wasn't super excited about trying these monopop eyeshadows because I was... Like, I just didn't know. They seem kind of boring to me. You know what I mean? Like, neutrally and boring. But it's pretty. I don't know. I know the um, it's bright, so it kind of washes everything out. Can you see it? So it's deeper than what it appears because the light is washing it out. But it's really pretty, Alicia. You were right. It's really, really pretty. I'm excited. So, okay, we can swatch a couple. I should have worn short sleeves. But like I said, I didn't plan on. Uh, I didn't plan on using uh, or doing a video today. So are the colors, I guess, do they have names on them? So we'll swatch a couple. We'll swatch a couple and see what happens. Immediately, I am drawn to this red, um, rusty shade down here on the right. And like I said, it's much deeper than what it is appearing here because, like I said, the light is washing it out. So let's try that. The reason why I wasn't too like excited about these was because traditionally, ooh, again though, remember, like I said, it's washed out a little bit. Um, traditionally Korean cosmetics don't have a ton of color payoff in them. They're more sheer, um, because Korean beauty is all about letting your skin sh like show through the makeup. And whereas like, like Western brands are more into like the colors themselves. So I wasn't sure. And I've had Korean, um, blushes and eyeshadows before and thought that they seemed too sheer for my liking, but from a different brand, not from the face shop. I was um, at Tude House is one of them. And I can't remember, um, Doll Kiss, Urban Doll Kiss, um, a couple different brands I've tried. So I wasn't really sure. Um, 
but then I thought, well, I want to try these and see how they are. Um, I should do this other shimmer here. It's kind of like a bronzy. Here. Yeah, it does kind of look like the warm sunset quad a little bit. But those, they they feel really nice. I mean, they uh, definitely feel good. Let me try one of the mattes, too. So I'm excited. I can do a brown eye. I mean, they always. I'm always happy when I do a brown eyeshadow look. It's just, even though I think brown eyeshadow is boring, <laughs> I guess it can be nice sometimes. All right, I'm going to try this, like, um, this shade here up in the top corner there it's a brown and it matte brown and it reminds me of the shade in the duo that i like so much what's that duo that i like so much almond biscotti it looks a lot like that but it feels good for a matte i mean it doesn't feel dry or patchy or anything that's right here My arms are dry probably too because like I said, I wasn't planning on doing anything. So, and I'll do this like gold shimmery one too and then I have to definitely do a look with it and see how it goes. I kind of like the, the cream shade isn't like the underbrow, underbrow highlight one right here. It's not as light as I would necessarily like it, but still it's pretty. Ooh, that's really soft. Can you see like as soon as the one in the middle, as soon as I swatched it, it like, I made a mess. So that's really pretty. So that's pretty. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use these and, um, play with them and I'm going to clean that up when I uh, get a chance because I like rubbed it and it got I want to keep it pretty and see I like messed up that middle shade I got it on the palette so so that's the mono pop eyeshadow in the mood mood browns so mood brown is that right so exciting I'll probably I'm getting the coral one too and <laughs> That'll be pretty for like spring, definitely. Oh yeah, lots of good transition shades in there for sure. All right, let's do the Moisture Cushion Blush in the red. I've been really excited about this. It was like one of the colors that I was gonna um, order initially. And then I thought, no, it might be too deep. And people were probably more interested in seeing the pink and the coral. So, uh, I got those two. And I love these. I love these blushes. They are so easy to wear. And they are so, like, they just melt into your skin. And the packaging on them is so cute. When we were at Rapfest and they had them on display in, like, these acrylic, these, like, clear acrylic um, containers. And they were, like, all jumbled in there. They looked so cute, you know. So... Yeah, they were, I was excited about those. Come on, open up. It doesn't want to open up. There we go. So it's just like the other ones. They come with a mirror and a little puff here. And then you pee, you have to pop the um, thingy open like that. And then they're sealed in the beginning. I will use the steak knife of death to pop out the little tab so I can pull on it. It is so cold here today. It is warm or it's sunny. It's super sunny, but it's like really, really, really cold. Okay. So this is the color of the, oops, of the red. So let's see. Okay. You've been on the fence with the red. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, it looks beautiful. That's the red. Oops. 
Let's blend it out a little. It's not super, super deep. See, it, I mean, and you gotta remember, again, I'm it's really bright right now because of my lighting on the laptop. It's very sheer. Once you sheer it out, pretty. It's really pretty. Mm. Gonna be using that one tomorrow. <laughs> I really just, I really, really like these. And I love the highlighter. I absolutely love, love, love the highlighter. It goes with everything. It goes with all the different, no matter what blush shade you have on, it goes with it. It's really, really nice. I love that highlighter. It's beautiful. And it, you know, like I love highlighters. I love the glow and everything, but I, seriously, I have texture, you know, all up in here and everything, but it doesn't accentuate the texture that you have. It just, I don't know. It just, and it's so iridescent and pearlescent. It, it's, it's beautiful. That highlighter is beautiful. If I, if I could only have, this is the truth. This is the truth. If, if somebody, I don't know why that it, this would happen. If somebody said to me, you can only have one highlighter out of all your collection, which would it be? I would probably choose that one because it's so pretty and you can leave it um, on top of like your foundation and powder uh, if you want it to be more bright. But um, I usually use it um, before my powder, like it's on top of my foundation, but then I powder it. And so it goes down a little bit um, and it's very subtle, but still it has a nice sheen to it. I used to love always reach and I always reach for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight um, Illuminator. That's my highlighter that has the most love to it. But I I love that moisture cushion highlighter so much. I reach for it all the time. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills one though is like some high shine. I mean it is some like you can see it from outer space. <laughs> but it's nice, you know. Okay, so now I have two more. I want it all too, Andrea. You're not the only one. I want it all. So I have two more flat velvet lipsticks. I really, really like those. Um, I wore that London Red yesterday. Beautiful. You know where I wore it too? Because this is my life. I wore it to CVS to pick up prescriptions for my father-in-law and to Kentucky Fried Chicken to bring our dinner home <laughs> last night because he's on soft foods. And so um, we got uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, those bowls that have the mashed potatoes and the gravy and the corn in them. Uh, we got those for him. So um, am I going to keep this live? Yeah, you'll be able to see it on the playback. Yep, you absolutely will. I think they go, they go, uh, they post about, uh, it, it well, depends on the length, but usually it's up within 10, 15 minutes of, of when I end it. So yep, go for it. I should be here at any time. <laughs> so I'm going to put my glasses back on when I unwrap these because I don't want to like cut my face off by accident or my hand. So I'm going to try to find the perforation where it is. Um, if you see any, uh, if I end this abruptly, it's because I've accidentally chopped my gouged myself to death with it. Just kidding. That's not funny. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for coming by while you can. I wasn't planning on doing this. So um, I just, you know, I just thought, why not? Might as well. Don't have anything else to do today. So I love that everything is sealed so good for our protection, but it's so not handicap friendly. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, this is not handicap friendly. We're coming along though. I had such a weird dream last night, you guys. I dreamt that I was, um, I had a, a membership to the YMCA and I could swim in the pool as much as I wanted to. And so I was there and I wanted to go swimming, but I didn't, I couldn't find my bathing suit and where my bathing suits were supposed to be located. I couldn't find them. And so I was seeing all these other people in the pool and I couldn't get in the pool with them. And I was really upset. Is that crazy or what? Okay. So I got the first one opened. I'll just open the other one now too. That way they'll both be done at the same time. Um, yeah, I had the strangest dreams. 
But I didn't sleep good for the past couple nights. Um, it's been stressful here, you know, with Keith Dad being so sick and everything. And um, Keith has been um, worried and unhappy, and I worry about him and everything. And it just, you know, so last night um, I slept better. And also this morning I said to him, well, I'll help you move stuff around in the morning because we knew we were going to be getting the hospital bed in the foyer. And um, he let me sleep in. And so I didn't have to. I slept in late, and by the time I got up, he already had everything done. I don't think. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I got this one done, too. So let's, we'll try these on. I know, Tracy, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> Tracy is like me, you guys. She is an Avon rep in Ohio, and she has... A rheumatoid arthritis, two juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, just like me. We are kindred spirits. We are like the same person. Um, we, our hands are like so similar and we have all these issues and stuff like that. But we still kick ass. We're good. <laughs> so I'm going to take off what I have on and I'm going to put on, um, we'll try these other ones. What I had on was the um, lip tint, the gelato lip tint in raspberry limoncello. trying to take it off. Of course, it left a stain though, because you know, that's what it does. I was going to order, I had in my cart, the, um, another chocolate cherry of the limoncello, the honey clementine and the watermelon one. And then I was like, you know, the thing is, is we're getting new stuff all the time. That's going to be permanent. And do I want to buy the stuff that's limited? And I, I didn't know what to do. So I ended up taking it out. And then I thought, you know what, if it shows up in another uh, goodbyes, like if we have another one of those goodbyes outlets, like later on in the year and they're in there, then I might get them again. But for now, I decided to skip them. So. Okay. Ugh. I hate the way these wipes make my fingers feel sticky. So the first one I got is the... Let's try the fluffy pink. We'll do the fluffy pink first. That's the lightest one, I think. I already take my glasses off. I'm a hot mess. So I think this one is the fluffy pink. Yes. So this is the lighter one. And remember, everything is deeper than what my um, video is showing it to be because of the it's washed out a little bit. So can you see that? That's pretty. Yeah, I know, Teresa, it is. It's hard. So this is a pretty one. All right. So, and I didn't bring a mirror. So I'm just going to use the, as best I can. There we go. That's pretty. That's a nice shade. So this is really wearable for so many different skin tones. Oh, thanks, Nance. Have a good day. I'll see you later. See you on the Facebook <laughs> or Facebook as Keith likes to call it. So yeah. So that's the fluffy pink. Really, really pretty. Even though it is a light shade. It's very wearable. It'll go good with that mood brown. All right, and then uh, I'll take it off, and then we'll try the other one, the brighter pink, and see how that goes. And then we can look at the what's new for a little while if you want to. I love these flat velvet lipsticks. They're so nice. Okay, so the next one is called, I think it's the one in the moment. Oh, it's called Be My Pink. Oh, looks like the thing, because it came up like that. So let's see if we can push it down. All right, it's broken. Oh, it's broke. Well, that sucks. Let's see if I can roll it a little bit. 
Okay, so it did roll. So we have to be careful with it. So that's the shade of that. A little bit brighter. This is like a really juicy summer color. And remember again, it's lighter because it's washed out. Uh oh, we'll try this one. I'm telling you, your webcam does not make a good uh, mirror to apply makeup with. Hmm. Okay, so there's that one. It's definitely a little bit brighter in person, I can tell. But that's a nice shade, too. I really like that, also. Hmm. I love these flat velvet lipsticks, you guys. I absolutely love them. I love the formula. They're super comfortable. For being a matte, a true matte, they are super, super comfortable. They're way more comfortable than, like, some of the other matte lipsticks I have, like the... um. I have like matte lipsticks from MAC and they are not comfortable. Like you're totally aware of your lips all day long. And, and I hate that. I hate that feeling. So these are really nice. And I like them because the reason why I like matte lipsticks in general is because you can use bolder colors and they stay put. They don't travel as much as like a, a, a lighter lipstick does. And so when I wear like the reds and the and hot pinks and stuff, I don't feel nervous that they're going to get all over. But these wear beautifully. They um, they last for a really long time. They are super comfortable. And when they do fade, they tend to fade evenly. They don't leave like a ring around the outside of your mouth or anything like that. And so that's why I like these so much. So there are a couple more shades that I'm going to pick up. I know I need, there's another, there's one more red that I don't have. I think it's called Scarlet Red. And, um, and then there's another bright pink. Let me see. What are the ones I'm missing here? Let me look in the brochure. Let me look at the campaign six brochure here and, and see. Um, I know, like I said, like I know I'm missing Scarlet Red for sure. Okay. I'm missing Scarlet Red uh, and Pink Moment. Those are the two. And then there's one called Solar Beige. Does anybody have Solar Beige? Any of you guys have Solar Beige? Is it like a really, really light nude or is it more of a brownie nude that that's because I don't like those really, really light nudes that make me have corpse lips. I don't want that. So I might skip that one. Um, so but yeah, Scarlet Red and the Pink Moment are the ones I, I need to get. Right. This one's be my pink. Yeah, this one, the one I'm wearing right now is Be My Pink. So I just really like these. And they're on sale right now for $10. And they're really, you know, I enjoy them. I enjoy them. So um, I'm going to look at the What's New really quick for a little bit. Oh, you do Pink Moment. So that's, oh, that's the brighter one. Yeah. Is it like really, really bright? Is it like, like, a, like a shocking pink bright? Or is it just more of a like a fuchsia, because I've noticed that some of the reds aren't exactly what I would call red. Like the cassis red is a berry. Oh yeah. I want to get the scarlet red for sure. But I, I like, I think cassis red is a berry and the Darjeeling red to me is more like a brick color. Oh, it's really bright. Well, cool. yeah, I'll order that next time then probably. So I don't know. I just thought we could look at this since I unboxed and it was in there. So this is the What's New Campaign 9, a new, fresh, dewy scent for her, Avon, Avon Flourish Peony Rose. So if you're into rose perfumes, and already my thing is falling apart. It fell apart. <laughs> so, oh, this, uh, these happen to me all the time. But I do like the new uh, way they're doing the what's new that they only put in the stuff that's truly new and that we don't have all the other stuff that tells us how to sell, you know, which I suppose is good for newer reps that need kind of like, a, you know, like, like a guide or a boost or something. But sometimes I just like seeing what's new. I don't want to see the old stuff and tell me how to sell it. I just like, you know, although it does tell us what's on sale. So that's good too. I don't know. Anyways, so um, the Peony Flourish, uh, Avon Flourish Peony Rose is the new perfume. Um, it is, 
let's see, going to be $20 the intro price and $35 regular. It says it's the essence of lush, glistening blooms in the early morning light. Early morning light. This fresh composition of watery florals shines with notes of dewy peony, petals, pink currant, and sheer musk. I already can tell you I don't think it's something I'm going to want because it says watery florals, and I don't like water scents, and I'm not crazy about rose. So right there, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like that or not, but I can always get a sample and try it. However, the bottle is beautiful. The bottle is really, really pretty. Really, really nice. This over here. And then these, I think, are super cute. And I'm going to be getting at least two of them. So these are like our Mother's Day products. Um, limited edition blushing beauty powder blushes. They're matte and they're going to be $8. They come in three shades, ginger beige, India red, and ink red. And look at the packaging. You guys, with that old, like with the puff, look at that packaging. Oh, so I don't know if I'll be getting the lighter shade, but the two deeper ones, I definitely know I will try. Um, I am a sucker for that packaging and I am a sucker for the vintage packaging too. So man, oh man, those look gorgeous. I'll probably get all of them. I don't know. And then we have um, some lipsticks and uh, nail polish that are also in this same type of cardboard packaging that the blushes are in. So the lipstick is called Petal Power. It comes in Dusty Rose, Pink Carnation, or Coral Peony. And um, they look pretty. The Dusty Rose looks nice. I always wonder though why they don't why they always choose to put such um of the deeper shades like or brighter shades in these limited edition because I think that more people are apt to pick the neutrals so I'm always like curious why they do that and then the nail polish is uh enter enter enchanting fig watermelon kiss and strawberry pop and the lipsticks are going to be nine dollars and the gel nail polish is going to be seven. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Pick your own, pick your own gifts. <laughs> they do look pretty. I love corals. And then this is nice too. This is called the Nesting Beauty Limited Edition Color Palette. It says our beautiful two-tiered palette holds gorgeous shades and finishes for eyes, cheeks, and lips. It's everything you need to create the looks you love. You get 12 eye colors, a mix of shimmer and matte, four cheek colors, shimmer and matte, two lip colors, and then you get some applicators and the mirror, and it's $15. I'm sorry, I got distracted by something. <laughs> so there's the palette with the different shades in it. So I love the packaging on that palette. It's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. And then this, I was reading what I got distracted by, is the all-new limited edition shades. Give them to Mattitude gift set. Show your true colors with this high-impact, super-saturated trio of color for lips that always gets noticed. Soft matte finish. Shades include Rebel, which is a pink, Remarkable, which is a red, and Respect, which is nude. And it's $24 for the three of them. I didn't realize that they were new shades. I thought they were ones we already have. And so I wasn't really interested. And now I'm seeing that they're new shades. I'm all about that. I don't know if I'll want the nude. I mean, I'll try it. But it looks like a deeper nude. Yeah, I'm all about that. I love the Manitudes. I absolutely do. I love I love matte lipstick in general. So, yeah, that's really interesting. So, those are going to be $24. Definitely want to give those a try. And then we've got um, the limited edition pink magnolia bubble bath for $7. It has that packaging on it also. <clears throat> and then there are some uh, perfume gift sets, Haiku and Far Away. And they are $25 a piece. And they also have that floral packaging.
Yeah, it's nice that that has a mirror in it, like the um, that palette has a mirror because like the one that they gave us with the iconic eye palette didn't have a mirror in it at all, so that's nice. The box is super pretty. I love them. I love them. And then it, yes, I, you know what, Alicia brought up a good point too. The um, these nail wear gel nail polishes and the um, lipsticks they match and you know that's a thing that remember like like okay that was a thing you know uh, to have matching nail polish and lipstick and it was it's kind of like a lost beauty thing you know what I mean because and I'm just as guilty of that I'm certainly not going to paint my nails every day to match my lipstick but that used to be a thing you know what I mean and and I kind of it's a throwback to that glamour day. And I think once in a while, it's good to do that again. Um, I love vintage glamour. I love any kind of glamour. And I love the idea that these, that they do match like that. It just makes you feel good. You know, it makes you feel, it's like an extra special touch that makes you feel a little bit more feminine and, you know, glamorous. I'm all about that. I think that's great. I think a lot of femininity and glamour is is uh, bygone, and it's unfortunate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a bummer. I miss that kind of stuff. So where is because my thing fell apart? Okay, that's on the inside cover right there. Uh, and I really like these um, the way these girls look in these dresses on the the um, layout for the peony rose. I just I like that. I really, really do. I like that. So then we've got some jewelry, too. Oh, Betty, I'm glad you enjoyed your cruise. That's good. That's good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, you know. Yes, like, exactly. It would be special for, like, a Mother's Day or Easter. You know, just the added touch to have... That extra step to make you, I don't, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm the kind of person that when I feel, I feel good about the way, you know, things like that make me feel better and more attractive. And I don't know. I just like that. It's my, that's my jam. You know, being a girly girl is my jam. So, all right. So then we have these um, clear statement jewelry and I'm really into this. I think these are super pretty. They're Statement stones um, set in gold tone, and there's going to be clear, purple, or blue, and you have earrings and a ring right here. So there's the earrings, and I like those earrings and the ring, which I probably wouldn't get the ring. And then on the inside cover that fell off here is the, um, you have the collar necklace, a bracelet, and the drop earrings. I really like the. I love the collar necklace. Dang, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'll probably get, be getting that for sure. And I like the drop earrings too. Definitely. Definitely. The earrings are going to be $19.99. The necklace $42.99. And the ring $14.99. So I love Avon Statement Jewelry. It's so pretty. It's just, I, and I can't, I, I'm like kicking myself for all the years that I never collected it because I thought that I wouldn't like it or I thought that it would be uncomfortable or for whatever reason I didn't do it. And now I'm like all these years that I missed out on so many statement necklaces that I would love to have, but it's, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Every once in a while I come across them. Um, my friend, Jill, who is a local Avon rep in our area and she's the one that hosts our meetings and stuff. Um, she has tons of that stuff, like the old jewelry and um, pins and everything. And sometimes she'll bring um, them to a meeting and she'll give pieces out. She used to have a store, like an Avon store, um, LABC, they're called Licensed Avon Beauty, Beauty Centers. And she had one of those and she'll bring uh, pieces to a meeting and give them away as like gifts for people. And she's given me several of the pins and they are so beautiful. I just love them. I love them. They're gorgeous. I love that stuff. So there, yeah, I'm all about that statement stuff. And then there's two new hand creams, limited edition for Mother's Day, and they are the mini size. And many people will be very happy to know that um, Vitamoist is one of them. And then the silicone glove is the other one. 
but yeah, Vitamin Waste was a really uh, kind of a cult favorite among customers and it got discontinued, which is unfortunate because so many people liked it. But so that was a look at the campaign nine. What's new? So I guess that's about it. I do want to have, um, like I said before, I wanted to do when I thought about doing the campaign videos on uh, live, once I got started, it was distracting for me because I like to follow the chat and see what everybody's saying and respond to it. But when I got to go through the brochure and show everybody what I think is the good picks, it's kind of hard for me to get it done that way. And I get distracted really easily. So I think I'm going to go back to doing, and I actually had a couple people message me um, and say that they preferred if I would do the campaign video, not live, which I totally understand. And I think for me, that's going to work easier, but I do want to do some kind of regular live video in the evenings, um, like once a week or once every, um, um, I'm sorry, I get distracted. See, I get distracted. I had a message, a notification come across the bottom of my screen. I get distracted really easy. And so uh, I do want to do some kind of a live video like once a week or every campaign. Um, I don't know, just some kind of chat like about Avon stuff. And, and we can go through the what's news or we can go through, you know, I don't know, something, something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure out something. Throw out ideas, um, put them in my group or... Um, in the comments section, you know, after this stream is done and it's just a replay, something just, I just want to know because I'm all about doing lives. I enjoy it. I think it's fun. And um, I love that there's no time limit. And I love that, you know, I, I really enjoy the interaction with everybody and stuff, but I don't think for the campaign video itself, it's easy for me to do. I think that I'll go back to doing it the other way. Um, but it was fun to unbox this stuff with you guys and try the new lipsticks. And uh, both of these lipsticks are pretty and I'm glad I have both of them. I'm really glad and i um, very excited to try that new eyeshadow. Uh, really, really excited about it. So I don't know what you guys got to do for the rest of your day. I don't have much to do. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the dis discontinued products. I actually looked to see the discontinued products for the first quarter and there wasn't very many. There was just a couple of particular shades of lipstick. I mentioned those in the video that I filmed yesterday. There wasn't very much. Um, mostly it was like samples. They discontinued a lot of samples that were available to reps to sell or, or to give to our customers. And so I didn't really mention anything about discontinued products for the first quarter. And I haven't seen a list yet for the second quarter. I don't know if that's out or not, but um, so yeah. I don't know, but just something. We'll figure out something. <laughs> we'll figure out something. But I, because I definitely do want to do some kind of live. I like, I like that. It's enjoyable to me and fun. So, okay, okay. Have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah, I gotta, um, I gotta go to. I don't have, I mean, I don't have anything particular in, in mind, but I know Keith is, uh, told him I would make one of those dump cakes today because his dad really likes those um with the cherry pie filling and the yellow cake mix um and so i said i would make one they're super easy i mean it only takes you know, like 10 minutes to throw it together and stick it in the oven but so i'm going to do that and then i think we're having i don't know what we're having for dinner tonight it won't be the same as what we give his dad because like i said he's on soft foods now but um but i did say i would make him one of those dump cakes because he really likes those a lot and they're good they're yummy and they're easy so all right, you guys, I'm going to get going. Um, thank you so much for taking part in this and joining me. And uh, I'm glad everybody could come in. And I hope the rest of your day goes well. And I will see you soon. Uh, I don't exactly. Oh, I have a video planned for Thursday um, that I'm going to try to upload on Thursday. So um, I, I don't think it'll be a long video. And then I, that's for Avon. And then I want to do some kind of coloring video again soon, um, too. So. So that's it. But thank you guys so much. I will see you soon. Um, thanks for being part of everything. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's still not going. It's still, it's still going. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.